Hi everyone, it's Christine with Faith in Books. Here's a look at our new fiction titles along with some of our other favorites. Starting with a new series that will encourage read, touch, and discover, we have Remarkable Rainforest, Animals of the Savannah, Arctic Animals, and Wonderful Wildlife. I'll show you the inside of this one. Look how gorgeous the illustrations are. There's a touch and feel on each page. Um, in these books, you'll learn about 10 different animals and simple vocabulary. I love how beautiful and sturdy these board books are. Also new in the series, we have Hello You. This is Sunshine Baby and Love Grows. And inside these books, you will watch and enjoy your babies giggle and laugh as they discover themselves in the mirrors of each page. Uh, these are interactive and fun, sturdy board books for the littles. Also a new series in which ears or which tail. These are interactive books where your readers will get to choose, for example, which tail belongs on this squirrel with the, this little wheel that they can spin as they try to find the right tail that goes on each animal. A lot of fun to be had with these books. If you have a reader who loves sound books, our Don't Tickle series hands down are some of our favorites. This is Don't Tickle the Shark, I have Don't Tickle the Tiger, Don't Tickle the Dragon. We have a lot of other titles in this series. I'll turn it on the back so you get an idea, but this is our touch and feel and sound books. So every page will have a touch and feel and sound for your readers to enjoy. Another sound book favorite is the Animal Orchestra series. I have um, here Animal Orchestra plays Tchaikovsky, Mozart, Beethoven. I'll show you the Beethoven one. This is a fun way for them to learn about classical music. We are always looking for ways to encourage reading and play and Delivery Truck has the best of both worlds. It's a pullback car you can see it goes and it opens up to a storybook too. We also have Taco Truck in this series. In our new title, This Little Unicorn, you and your readers will have tons of fun with this magical twist on the classic nursery rhyme. And you can practice your numbers and counting along the way by finding the unicorns on each page. In I Try, your littles will learn about resilience and not being afraid to try new things. Even if they are afraid, they might learn to give it a try after reading this book. Gina Kaminsky Saves the Wolf is a new title. Gina is a very special girl who has her own ideas of how a story should go, including the classic Little Red Riding Hood. A delightful story where Gina uses emojis to help express how she feels. This book will inspire every child to tell their own story like Gina. Have you met my friend Nibbles? Nibbles loves to chomp on all kinds of things, from dirty socks to soap, your toes, but Nibbles' favorite things to chomp on are books, and lots of them. In fact, Emma Yarlett does a fantastic job introducing Nibbles in Nibbles the Book Monster, where you'll see Nibbles loves to eat books, and he actually becomes part of these classic tales, like Goldilocks and the Three Bear, you'll see Nibbles chomping through the pages here, or other classics like uh, Jack and the Beanstalk. So there are books inside of books. We love these stories, they're fun to read. We also have Nibbles the Bedtime Book, Nibbles the Monster Hunt, and Nibbles the Dinosaur Guide. Emma Yarlett also has a series for my younger learners, including Nibbles Numbers, Christmas, Shapes, and we also have Colors. This time you'll see Nibbles eating his way or chomping his way through the pages with holes for them to peek through as they learn about numbers, shapes, and all kinds of fun things. We've been telling a lot of jokes around here, so these books have really come in handy. This is the A to Z Sports Joke Book, Dad Joke Book, The Punny Joke Book. We have other ones on food, a Knock Knock Joke Book. All the jokes you can think of from A to Z you'll find in these books. And finally, our newest title, Folk Stories and Tall Tales. Now you and your readers can immerse yourself in all the tall tales from all over North America. Uh, folk stories has been passed down from generation to generation. You can enjoy. This is recommended for ages 7 to 10.